Hello and welcome to the AFL Auto Blends 3D Car Creation channel. Um, towards the back end of last year and early this year, I was doing a tutorial on the 1950s Jowett Jupiter um, and got into problems with um, blueprints, um, etc. etc. So I lost a little bit of interest, but <clears throat> I've decided now to um, restart it. Also had problems with YouTube for some strange reason on this particular car. So I'm going to create in the new year a, a new um, playlist entitled 1950s, uh, 1950 sports car, um, which will be this Jack Jupiter. Now, I'm not going to rely on the blueprints that are readily available. Um, I'm going to create my own, um, of which you will be able to to get off me once I've done them or, or or follow the tutorials to show you how to do it. Um, I've already started um, I did this a little while ago actually so this is the side view that I've created um, I'll show you how to to label it all so each view lines up with the other so for instance, we'll be putting tabs on here saying that that's the front of the headlights, that's the top of the wheel, that's the top of the wheel arch, that's the top of the bumper, that's the top of the windshield, etc. all the way through. Um, I had started, um, so the side view is complete, as you can see it here. Um, now the front view, press 1, um, that's the start of the front view I've done. So basically what I'm going to do is go around and trace it around and I'll show you guys how to do that um, and I will use a, um, a subdivision modifier for it because that enables us to get the, the, the curvature that we, we, we want and it's not just a series of dots that there's imperfections in the curve so that all, all that will be, I'll show you how to do that and to scale it down etc etc um, so you will have proper blue blueprints to look look at um, which will be available as I say to, to you guys albeit you can do your own by following the tutorials um, so that's one to look out for in the future so it's just a quick update really to to tell you what's going on with it and I haven't forgot about it um, it's a car that's um, interested me for years and I'll show you a few images of it before we we close this um, so let's go into let's try to find a few images of it um, that's all the blueprints I had before which don't work they're all wrong um, so let's have a look so this is the um, this is the car. So a few images of it here. And that's not um, that's not the Jarrett Jupiter. That's a different car. Showing the wrong car there. Um, so basically, here it is. That's the car. Um, it's quite a quite a historic British. Um, British sports car. I've um, got some great lines on it. There we go, that's a better view. So, it's quite a nice looking car. And um, I haven't seen any modelled on the internet, so it'll be a, a first for everybody. Um, so I've got loads of, got loads of photos of grills, uh, interiors, all sorts. Could do with some more. I'll probably scale the internet and look for more. There's even chassis details. I might even go down to that level. Um, but there we are. That's um, that's the wonderful Jack Jupiter. It's got a front opening, uh, all enclosed bonnet and fenders. So I suppose you could call that a clamshell at the front. Um, it's quite an, as I say, it's quite an interesting car to um, to delve into. <clears throat> Got a nice wooden dash. Um, 
so there's plenty plenty to get on, on onto in sort of um, um, modeling terms well there, that's an interesting photo because it shows it without the doors the the front shell and the back so that's a really good and we'll go down to this detail in terms of modeling the um, bulkhead um, might even sling an engine in at some point so there we are that's um, what I intend to do in the um, early in the new year um, so I hope you guys uh, hope you follow along and um, we'll take it from there okay thank you for watching and look out for this in the new year